Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. I have been receiving so many requests to show you all what it's like to be a TV news reporter. So today, I'm taking you with me to work. One of my stories is about the new terminal here in Cheyenne. Now, I'm a multimedia journalist, which basically means I do everything when reporting. I shoot, I edit, I write. I'm especially excited about this story because I've been covering the new terminal since the groundbreaking event. I feel like I've been here in every single condition possible. The other day I ran across this video on my phone. I took it on the way to film my second story at the terminal. It was an outside shoot and we were having torrential rains. And then my third air travel story took place in 70 mile per hour winds. I was gripping the tripod so it wouldn't fly away. Boeing 787 latest is being tested right now. So this is our uh, second 787-10. We brought it here to Cheyenne to test uh, the airplane's auto land system in high winds. The plane bounces around a little bit. So this story feels like a breeze. Not only is it beautiful and sunny outside, but I'm mostly filming inside. I think the hardest part about being a multimedia journalist is having to film everything. So even when I'm in front of the camera, I'm still filming it. As you can see, I'm walking right now, blogging and carrying my equipment all at once. Today I'm starting with my interviews. I'm talking with an airline representative and the president of Cheyenne Regional Air Focus team. I usually set up my camera, stand just outside of you, and ask a number of questions. I understand that this layout was meant to be efficient in terms of time. Can Correct. you talk to that? Next, I shoot a ton of video so that I have enough footage to edit together my story. I just returned to the studio. I have to edit together that story. I have an interview with a governor candidate, and I also have a city council story. Normally, as a reporter, we turn anywhere from three to seven stories in a day. So I'd say I better get to work. CBS News Channel 5's Catherine Chloe Cahoon gives us an inside look at the terminal and discusses Cheyenne's air travel history and its future. Cheyenne has a strong history of air travel. Presidents, celebrities, even Amelia Earhart landed here. And our history is now continuing. Less than a year ago, our new terminal was just a shell. And now it's practically finished. But the hard work began long before that. About 30 years ago, airport officials were concerned that one day, Cheyenne's terminal would become functionally obsolete. This was part of a vision plan of expanding and having a new terminal, having additional capacity of accommodating more airlines. The planning and funding phase has been going on for about a decade now. Seven months ago, right as the new terminal was making great progress, Cheyenne lost air service. It was the first time in 90 years of Cheyenne's air history that we had no carrier. But residents refused to give up on our air travel. We were looking for new airline partners that we could expand and grow in our market. Now on November 4th, jet service will come to Cheyenne from Dallas. It's a, a great opportunity for the community to have air service restored uh, that has been gone for some time, might feel like forever to some of these folks. With the first flight scheduled for takeoff, the finishing touches are being put on Cheyenne's new terminal. Once you enter the terminal, everything is so close together. From check-in, which is only steps away from TSA, to baggage claim. Then all you have to do is sit back and enjoy your flight. In Cheyenne, Catherine Chloe Cahoon, CBS News Channel 5.